Science tells us that our brains can process images in less than 150 milliseconds. But how long does it take for our hearts? How long does it take to tell a story that moves you? In this experiment, we look at the relationship between length and persuasion. Should you rush to tell your story? Or take your time and hope you can connect? In the Mad Men era, most TV ads were 60 seconds. Broadcasters started to offer 30 seconds as a cheaper alternative in order to bring more advertisers to TV. They added 15 seconds in the 1980s for the same reason. Length was more a function of cost for advertisers than attention or effectiveness. But on YouTube, is longer stronger? We found the more you watch, the better for the brand. There is a consistent relationship between how long an ad is viewable and increases in brand awareness and consideration. And people will watch longer ads. The average length of the top ads in 2014 was three minutes, and none were 15 seconds. So what does that mean for a single story? We took three cuts of the same story, ran them using skippable pre-roll, and measured to see how people responded. How long does a piece of content need to be? What is the order of the story? Those are the questions we need to answer in order to be able to optimize. The two-minute version creates depth to the Gomez's story. We see the themes of family and celebration and hear from various members in both Spanish and English. We were able to build a lot of tension at the beginning of the film to really capture people's attention and then ending it with product and a celebration showing that they are just as American as everybody else. The 30-second spot is pared down, but able to preserve some of the richness of their experience. The 15-second spot is a quick snapshot of the Gomez family, ending with the brand's logo and tagline. The 30-second was the most unskippable, and brand favorability was directionally stronger for the longer cuts. For brands moving beyond simple awareness, a longer story may work harder to persuade people to change how they think. The nature of Honeymate's work is to tell real uh, emotional stories. It doesn't always fit within a 15 second or a 30 second spot. The 15 second drove ad recall, but didn't change minds. Short ads can work hard for your brand, but they don't do the same work. 15 seconds is a limited amount of time to be able to tell, say, an aspirational story, but it's a perfect amount of time to be able to halo a product benefit. About 15% of viewers watched the long-form ad all the way through, which is more than two times typical benchmarks. Even so, the brand did not appear in any way until one minute and 17 seconds in, meaning that viewers who skipped before that point had no chance to connect what they were watching to the brand. When it comes down to it, how much somebody loves the Honeymate brand is extremely important. And if that means putting out a longer form video for people to really fall in love with our message, then that makes way more sense than a 15 second spot with a lot of logos in it. Being shorter is not automatically better. When people can choose, they may choose the better story. What would you have for them if people like what they see? Coming soon from Unskippable Labs, we explore the power of 360 video and dive into the creative canvas of mobile video. And check out our previous experiments with Mountain Dew and L'Oreal. Share, subscribe, like, and let us know what you'd like us to explore next in the comments.